Talking of still life, do you think we ought to wake it? No. I think we ought to ask Chris why he's brought his suitcase with him. Oh, well, I was just wondering if you could put me up for the night. Uh, just the one night. We put Carol up for just the one night once. That was three weeks ago. Uh, the lodgers? It'll pay the mortgage. And what I earn part-time will take care of the bank. We won't have to sell. Yeah, but I suggested the idea of lodgers months ago. Oh, I know that. You see, but I haven't fully appreciated what the going rate was. Listen, when I last rented a bed sit, it was £2.15 and sixpence a week, plus hot water. Also, you see, I thought the most we could accommodate here besides us was two, because I'd written off the basement as unfit for human habitation. <laughs> Look at that. Glad to help. Doesn't that contravene the Trades Descriptions Act? They ought to put posters up in here that tell the truth. Such as? If you borrow one penny of our money, we'll make your life a living nightmare. Well, I'm not sure it would pull in the customers. That's honest, though. Can't pay your bills? Try suicide. Sheila, you are getting this whole thing out of proportion. Thinking of opening an account here? You must need your head examined. Now, listen to me, Sheila. It is vital that you are psychologically geared up to present your case to its maximum advantage. At the moment, you're radiating all the confidence of a soggy sponge. Yes. Now, there is a well-tried method of cutting pompous figures of authority down to size, be they politicians or bank managers, and I suggest you use it. Well, I'm listening. Imagine him naked. Naked? <laughs> I have before me your file. <laughs> Makes fairly grisly reading. you find the situation amusing. <laughs> Mrs. Haddon, you're here to face some fairly stark realities. <laughs> Do you realize last year our profits fell by 169 million pounds? Oh, that can't be all down to me, surely. <laughs> Ho, ho, ho. Oh, no, you see, I have the solution. You've sold your house. No. Well, what other solution could there Three possibly be? Three lodgers. Three lodgers. Now, their combined rent will be £105 a week, which I will deposit here against my overdraft. Now, I know you were hoping for a lump sum. Not there. hoping, insisting. Insisting, yes. But this way, if you think about it, you'll get more interest. Think of the profits. I mean, you'll be laughing all the way to the bank. <laughs> How's your sexist chat, Hamish? I don't follow. Well, Chris is assuming that you're gay, right? Mm hmm Oh, wouldn't it be a shame to disappoint him? <laughs> so, uh, now listen, I, I've got something fairly important to say now, Hamish. Uh, so listen carefully. Um, I'm, I'm heavily into women. Oh. <laughs> and it's no secret that women are heavily into me. So? <laughs> so, uh... So the last thing I need is you sidling over in the small hours and whispering, I'm Hamish, fly me. Right! Do you want to discuss this rationally? Yes, I do. Right. On your bike and pedal off! <laughs> right. You're fired. I resign. I said it first. No, you didn't. We said it at the same time. I suggest that you visit a specialist, Sheila. Try to explain to him that you're feeling like a pig-headed ostrich. <laughs> and ask him if it's irreversible. Right! <laughs> about that. You know what I think? What? I think one of you should buy my van. Uh, this is not quite the 120 pounds we agreed, is it, Mrs. Haddon? Uh, not quite, no. Not even nearly? Uh, no. Oh, indeed. Remotely? Uh, no. In fact, it'd be no exaggeration to say that this is... Only one pound fifty. Uh, yes, it is. <clears throat> but if it's any consolation to you, Mr. Warren, I'd just like to say that this is as big a disappointment to me as it is to you. You've always had a rather cavalier attitude to the bank's money, Mrs. Haddon. Well, I, I think you'll agree this is fairly remarkable, even by your standards. Look, what was I to do, Mr. Warren? It was either you or the electricity board. And what have they got that I haven't got? 
<laughs> Apart from my 118 pounds 50. They're a ruthless bunch, Mr. Warren. They'd have cut me off without a kilowatt. What? Exactly. No, it's, it's hell being dependent on electricity. In fact, you know, when all this has, has, has blown over, I would like to discuss the possibility of the banks extending my overdraft so that I can invest in solar power. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a joke. Joke, Mr. Warren, you know. Joke. I don't know whether to laugh or cry. But I think on balance I'll laugh. <laughs> because our unhappy association is about to end. Pardon? You've left me no choice but to call upon your guarantor to honor your debt. My guarantor? Commander Richard Beamish, I believe. Not while I have breath in my body. I still have half a day left, Mr. Warren. I told your cashier I'd have that balance in a jiff, and have it in a jiff, I will have it. <laughs> We close at 3.30, Mrs. Hatton. I'm going to sell the brooch. You promised your Auntie Mary. Yeah, that's OK. She was a lifelong kleptomaniac. I'm going to sell it back to the shop she pinched it from. <laughs> You'd like that? Oh, now, quarter to two, that gives me an hour and a quarter to sell it and get back to the bank. Step on the mule and back to number 20. OK, but just remember, you're not the only pauper with a deadline. Well, what's your deadline? To sell this heap before it runs out of petrol. Oh. <laughs> Without looking. I'm sorry. I mean, I... Look at my van. I mean, look at it. <laughs> <laughs> was it his fault or was it his fault? It's definitely his fault. Lunatic. <laughs> this is no time to go to sleep. My van's a right off. My insurance will take care of your van. Will it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it will, won't it? <laughs> well, it won't be cheap. In fact, there won't be any change out of 800 quid. <laughs> Mr. Warren? <gasps> Mr. Warren. <laughs> Don't worry about a thing. I've got the money. And the bank doesn't close for another 20 seconds. So, chin up. <laughs> One word about my legs, chummy. Could well be your last. Do you have a cat, Mrs. Hatton? Not that I know of. Must be the turnips. How'd you get on today? Oh, I'm on my way, Mrs. Hatton. I am on my way. Splendid. I'll give you a lift to the station. <laughs> I mean, I'm on my way to the top. You've been taken on by a model agency. The very dynamic. One of their clients did a dandruff commercial last week. Oh, that's some sort of pinnacle, is it? Lassies and laddies, please take your seats. Dinner is served. <laughs> Oh, hey, Miss, this is beautiful. <laughs> this table hasn't looked like this since... Well, let's face it, this table's never looked like this. Of course, it was in Habitat's window. Damn, I clean forgot to bring a bottle. No problem. I've already got about 50, courtesy of Anglia Airways. Hey, Mish, hmm? my modelling agency insists I get some photos together fairly sharpish. So? Well, in an ideal world, I'd offer David Bailey the job. But I can't help feeling your estimate might be more competitive. <laughs> you reckon? Are you a, a good photographer? My photography is every bit as good as my cooking, so I'm afraid there's no chance of any photographs till you've done full justice to my Highland hotchpotch. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Magic. A real taste of heaven situation. <laughs> well, it gives me great pleasure to give you a second helping. <laughs> 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 Now. <laughs> I, I hope that's colour, Phil, Hamish, because I think you'll agree that Chris's skin has a very interesting green quality. He could do a frozen pea commercial. <laughs> I've something rather important to say now, Sheila. What are you doing? I thought we were going to say Grace. <laughs> Hopelessly, helplessly, desperately and irreversibly in love with you. Gosh, that's an awful lot of adverbs, Richard. Will you marry me? I'm not saying never. You're not? What did you think I'd say? At best, what you said. At worst, I thought you might throw me overboard. <laughs> I 
think you should seriously reconsider his proposal. I want you to ponder hard on what I've said. Oh, oh I will. I give it a really hard ponder. <laughs> Good night, Mum. <laughs>